Hello, this is Terry Downs, and I will be demonstrating the PowerTab Editor version 1.7. It is indeed free. I'm using uh, version 1.7. You can download this from the internet. The good thing about using a modern day piece of software that does tablature is that it plays back the lick for you. That way you know you have the timing correctly and the notes correctly. I'd like to get started by um, um, doing some of the basic setup in the in the size of things here I find that the font size and the spacing is a little bit off uh, the way that the program starts up uh, there are, there are buttons all over the place with uh, various toolbars enabled and you can do everything in the menus if you would rather use the menus the first thing that I do is change the line height uh, to around 13. This is increase the line height. There's a status bar uh, down at the bottom that shows the line height and the position width. And I change the line height to about 13 uh, to give enough space between the tab lines. And I set the position width to about 20 and it's already at, at 20. I also change the tablature font by doing a view fonts and selecting the tablature font uh, true type button and I use um, Arial 9 for that and click OK and OK and that gives a pretty reasonable uh, font number to read uh, one of the things that I don't like about this is that the uh, the, the line goes through the number uh, some tablature editors will have a little white space there to make the number more readable. Now we will look at uh, entering some information into the uh, tool. Well, we'll start with the title and from the view menu uh, select uh, file info and we'll type in a title Oh Baby Mine Augmented Lick Artist Chet Atkins and press OK. And then we want to set the tempo. And the tempo and several other things are only set when you're when you are in position one, the initial position. In other words, if I click out here, the key signature and the time signature does not uh, is not displayed in these in these toolbars. So the first thing we'll do is uh, set the tempo marker, which is here, and it's already set to 120 uh, beats per minute. I'm going to go ahead and increase that to 130. I think that's probably closer. And I'm also going to set the key signature, which is this toolbar. Obviously, the uh, the three flats as you see. Uh, turns out this song is in C, so there's no sharps or flats, so it's set, it defaults at C, so it's set correctly at this point. And then the beats per measure um, will be 4-4, uh, four, four, uh, which is already the default setting. And then I'll do a file save as at this point to, uh, to, to save the song, and I'll call that augmented chat for those of you who that are not familiar with tablature it's as simple as it gets for documenting guitar music uh, there are six lines which represent the six strings of a guitar guitar string one two three four five and six and the number that is entered on the line is the fret number so this particular note would be the first string played on fret 5 doesn't get any easier than that this lick is comprised of eighth notes so these are the t this is the toolbars that set the uh, note duration to half note quarter note whole note so I'm going to select the eighth note button we will begin entering notes at this point 
the you can see the cursor is a is a blue colored set of lines with a, a bracket that shows the position of the of the cursor and I'm moving this up and down with the arrow keys and right and left with the arrow keys so right now I'm on string one and I'll delete that particular note because we're going to start the first note on the, the second string on the eighth fret so I'll type an eight in there the second note is on the also on the second string and it's on fret 10 then the third note is on the first string fret 7 the next note is on the tenth back on the tenth fret second string the next note is the eighth fret second string the next is also fret 8 but string 3 and then the next note is fret 9 on string 4. Let's play back what we have so far. Uh, I can put the cursor on the first note and press F5 or we can use the play, pause, and stop buttons in this black and green area. This button is the metronome. It can be turned on or off. It will play a metronome along with it and also give a lead-in uh, click track. So let's play it and see what we have. Okay, that sounds correct. Now notice that when we go to the play screen, we can't see the tablature. It's off, it's off to the left. Uh, there's a little bug in the program. You need to, to view the screen in uh, full screen mode or uh, maximized with the window maximized to see the numbers uh, change to red as they're being played. Some tablature editors have a feature where you can convert between non-proportional bars and proportional bars. This one doesn't appear to have it, so rests must be inserted between areas where rests are required. This is the drop-down box for the rest insertion, and I'm going to insert uh, an eighth note rest at that point shows up there and then we'll go afterwards and do a bend uh, which is on the seventh fret and we'll do a uh, a bend and return here's the button for a bend brings up the bend dialog box and we'll select bend and release and it's a full a full bend full tone bend and click OK. Notice that it goes out uh, all the way to the end because there's no fret to return to. But actually, we are we will be returning back to fret seven on string four, and then we will end up with a the final note on string four, uh, fret five. So let's play that and see how it sounds. You notice that the MIDI playback of this is not really smooth on the uh, on the bend and release, but at least it's in time and it's good enough to document for uh, bringing the lick back up later. Okay, I'll save what I have so far by pressing the save button, or I could hit uh, Control S and press the print preview button to see what we have in terms of printing and I'll zoom in on that and you get a what you see is what you get sort of um, image here we have the, um, the title and the artist and the tablature and it looks uh, looks good you can print that out and sit down with your guitar and uh, and play around with that lick